Contest is scheduled for three rounds, Can you hear me? and it is for the Cage Wars Light Heavyweight Championship. This championship bout is sanctioned by the United States Muay Thai Association, Executive Director Ed Kinner, and USMTA President Clint Haliger in attendance this evening. The judges for this championship fight are Mr. Eric Komar, Mr. Said. Rob yeah. Axisa, and Mr. Nels Larson. The fight doctor at cage side for this bout is Dr. Michael Sheridan. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, representing Utica Combat Athletics from Utica, New York. He is known as the Postmaster, Alex Morrow. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing Orchard Park Mixed Martial Arts from Orchard Park, New York, Corey Norman. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell is referee Michael Waltzer. One of the things Corey did in the last fight was control Nick Spencer on the ground. And with Alex's wrestling background, let's see if he can uh, if he can do that again. 100%. This should be an interesting one. But you said Alex has his background in wrestling. He's wrestling for Oneonta State College wrestling team. That's D3 program. But he's got a Golden Gloves experience in boxing. It should be an interesting. Corey comes in. He's a very strong guy, big legs, big tall guy. It should be an interesting fight. And here we go, round one, ladies and gentlemen. Nice leg kick. Corey's like one of those guys who's super nice, gets in there and turns it on. You know, and that's the thing. He's an athlete. He's not a heathen. He, he's not some sort of a caveman. He's an athlete, and this is a sport. The crazy thing is, talking to him, he just got into this to, like, work out and exercise and then started fighting. He was never, like, an athlete in high school, never really played any sports. And, and that's one of those stories that's great to hear because this is one of those sports that, you, you know, you don't have to play in high school to really get Mental into Mental toughness. It. Absolutely. There's a huge factor. This is interesting. Look how calm Alex is right now. Very patient. He's looking to set off that right hand. So one of the best counters for a rear leg kick is a straight right hand. You absorb the kick and then throw that straight right hand down the pike. The chin is usually there. Little head movement right there by Alex Marrow. Keeping Corey guessing. Corey's hands are very low. Nice though. leg kick. Oh, man. And I Alex acts kick. like it doesn't bother him, but sometimes. But it does. Yeah, you know it hurts. But he's doing a good job pressing forward. Nice a big knee. knee by Alex Marrow. And Corey oh, tries Corey to answer. Corey was hurt there a little bit. Going nice for the shot. shot. He got in deep. Oh, Alex stuff. on top. Marrow with the big takedown defense. He's in half now. He's using the chin in the eye, if you notice. That's a that's a really slick move that Matt Zecourt taught me. You put your chin it's in all your legal, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, he's trying to tee off. 
This is a big opportunity here for Merrill. If you have a dangerous guy like Corey, uh, like Corey in a bad position, you want to see off. You want to take advantage of him because you see what happened right there. Yep. Corey got right back to the side. Merrill was doing a good job now of hand control, for that but choke. he lost it. Looking for that choke. Well, Corey Norman's putting it on right now, looking for the finish. Very calm, very composed. Alex is very composed. Nice job by Alex trying to spin off, push him off. Some big shots right there by Corey. Oh! oh! Alex is not a small guy. No, he's not, and Corey just lifted him. He's trying to go the other way. You know, it's very hard to bring someone that way. Now, That's just nice job by Alex, ending up on job. top in half guard. Kept those hips low. Yep, again, goes back to his wrestling pedigree. Yep. And now he wants to do something from his top position. And there he goes, use the uh, he's overhook. He's controlling Corey, Arman's, uh, Corey Norman's right arm. He's going to try to pin the left arm with the knee so he can ground and pound the head. There he goes, trying to get some strikes in, a couple. Going for the Going neck, for the show. I think he should have kept working with the strikes. I would have. Absolutely, because Corey is very slick on the ground and very calm. This is a good first round so far. This is the title oh, fight for light for heavyweight. Knee bar. Let's see how flexible Alex Marrow is. Oh, big shots by Marrow. Norman's got to do something with that. He's got to be careful rolling with that yep. leg, though. Rolling submissions with lower body is illegal in oh, Amsterdam. Nice MMA. knee by Marrow. That was slick by Alex. Nice job. Solid first round. Who do you give the round to? Kyle? Ooh, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to give it to Alex. I just thought he did more on top. I think he had some solid striking in the corner when before Corey Norman went for the takedown, and then Norman reversed him, got some strikes, but then Alex reversed him as well. And Alex controlled the grappling for the most part and ended on top. Hey, yeah. Ray, being spaghetti, you heard? Yes. Big visual key for the judges. Keep it on top at the end of the round. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Walter is about to give the signal. Round two is off and going. And Alex is trying cage. to keep that lower level, you can see. And he stands up now. Both fighters looking him pretty in shape. Corey doing a good job working the jab. Alex working the jab to come in. Alex wants to close the distance. Nice front kick by Alex. Corey tried to throw that left hook. Well, that's because oh, Alex big shot, pick, he that's landed. Alex was picking the jab, so he was anticipating the pick and trying to come up over top. Here we go, a little grappling. Corey Norman with the over-under. Let's see what he can do with it. Big factor right here. Going for the leg. Let's see what uh, Alex's takedown defense looks like against Cage. Alex doing a good job using his head. Corey trying to suck it in, bringing both legs and oh, down. Oh, good nice control, job by good control of the hips by Norman. Nice job. Sucking them in. Absolutely. Now notice, Alex does a great job getting back he's to right the Right back feet. to his feet, but he's taking a lot of punishment right there from Corey. But how hard are those shots really? You know, because you're kind of off balance. They're, they're annoying and they yeah. suck, but it's not going to knock them out. So I will get to the feet every time and take a few like that if I was him. For sure. But now he's back on his back in, uh, in a tough position with Norman full control. Well, yeah, now he's he's pinned against the Norman's cage. doing exactly what I said Marrow wanted to do. Exactly. Now Corey's got the right knee on the belly. He's, Alex is turning, so that way there he's not he's not stuck. You know, I like those. Norman's pressure. Like, his yes. hips might be away, but his pressure's into Alex. Yes. Now Alex is doing a nice job turning into Corey because Corey's looking for that neck with that left hand right now. He's doing a good job with his hip control on top of Marrow. But right there. there good job Alex by Alex Morrow Marrow. doing a good job. He's Marrow wants to just turn quick. He's turning into Corey. Good job by Alex Morrow. Great job. Now he's going for that over-under. He wants to get his hips low, though, right here. Absolutely. He's not in a good position right now. If Corey tripped Alex's left leg with his right foot and pulled, he may be able to trip him to the floor. But again, easier said than done. Yeah, most here. definitely. But there's throws there from all different situations just because of the, that lock. 
the over under lock. Absolutely. And here we go. They're great. It's a great second nice round. Nice foot stomp. You don't see that much now. Oh, he's going to break some toes. Nice foot stomp. He's going to need some uh, shoes. Some uh, special well, and, shoes. And, and what this. that shows is that he's respecting Alex's center of gravity and his ability to defend the takedown. He's trying to make him open something up. Most definitely. Corey doing a good job utilizing his now, head Alex as is well. a young guy. There's a big age difference between these two fighters. Alex is 21. Norman is about, I think, 33. Nice knees to the thighs of, of Morrow by Norman. Great, great first two rounds so far. Corey's winning heavyweight. the low man game right now. Yep, big knee by Alex at the end of it. And Alex got pissed. Well, he, he I knew think he more, suffered that yeah, round. Yeah, I think he's more mad because. to Corey's adjustments after the first round, or is that Alex being tired? Let's see what the third round brings. I agree 100%, this should be interesting. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The referee, Mike Walters, starts it going. Round three, third and final. Like I said, three by three in all amateur fights. Corey taking the center of the octagon. Alex doing a nice job with that lead hook. Here we go, Alex. Jab. Nice job. Alex does a good job, a little parry right there. Now, I've not seen Alex try to kick once. Not that it, you have to, but again, you just notice these patterns. And, and Corey does a little bit of everything. That leg kick really affected him when he was trying to throw that strike. That really threw the timing off for Alex. Absolutely. Nice job of show, uh, sportsmanship there. Good. Nice body shot by Alex. Ooh, Ooh, up, nice lead uppercut. uppercut. Oh, big shots right Alex there. Alex is swinging for the fences. Over under by Corey into the cage. Yeah, and he wants to work his hips away right now from Norman's. Now, oh, nice job by Corey He's using that right shoulder and then that left knee. Big nice knee, knee by, by Alex. Alex. Norman's really putting some pressure in right now. The Alex is looking for a lift, but he wants to he's, keep his hips away from He's Norman. at a mechanical disadvantage right now from that position to try to lift Corey. There he is. He wants to push down on that head right there. But good nice job. job by Corey, pulling him out away from the cage and sucking him in. Norman's doing a phenomenal job with the pressure right now. Into side control. That's a heavy side control. And Alex Spencer just keeps going. Look at props to him. Now he's getting wow, the reverse. Nice job by Alex Morrow. Good job. He gave up the neck, but again, he's not in a ton of danger, it looks like, as of yet. No, he's great hand control. The choke. Yep. Now Corey, 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 is a dominant, fight. Corey is a dominant position right now, but it's not a real threat to a choke, but he can do what he wants right now. He's knee into the thigh of Alex. You know, it's a Alex, solid front headlock. Alex is very limited in what he can do to Corey right now. Oh, nice job by Alex to try and get a reversal. She tried to roll with him, but Corey Norman does a good job with that lock around his head. And now Alex wants to push him against Cage. Yeah, he's using that quarter Nelson right there to really put the pressure on his head. Nice job by Corey, controlling Alex's head, pushing it down. If you notice, lifting Alex's left arm up over his head. He's going to step over Alex's left arm, deliver some punishment, ground a pound. Alex nice is keeping job that head by on Alex. the inside, though. Yeah, he's really pushing forward, even though he's in a, some tough position. He is, but look how smoothly Corey transitions. Nice job by Alex, getting back to the feet. And those double underhooks are hard. Oh, he just lost it. Norman did a good job pulling his arms out of last second. Otherwise, uh, Marrow would have had a nice takedown. 
You see how he's locking the overhooks? Absolutely. You can get some solid yeah. throws with that. And he's trying. Oh, yeah. nice job he's by just Corey Norman hard. anticipating Yep. It. Norman's hips were just too low for oh, that. Oh, and he traps Alex's left arm like he was trying to earlier in the, in the fight. crucifix right now. Some big shots to Less the head. Less than 10 seconds. Norman's looking to take home the belt. Wow. And that's the third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. I got to give that two to one to uh, Corey Norman. I would have to agree. That was an after fight for Ron Farrow. And now we go to the scorecard. Nels Larson scores the fight 29-28. Eric Omar scores the fight 30-27. Rob Axisa scores the fight 30-27 for your winner by majority decision. Out of the red corner. And new Cage Wars light heavyweight champion, Corey Norman. 30-27, 30-27, and what was the first 29, one? 29-28. 29-28.